Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see about Parallels Desktop 18 for Mac. I remember doing a review about Parallels Desktop version 10. After seven plus years, here we are with Parallels Desktop version 18. I'm so happy to do this review and share some of the feature highlights that this latest version brings to your Mac computer. In this episode, we will quickly see how to set up and install Windows, the latest version that is compatible for Apple M series processor machines with just few mouse clicks and most importantly, who is it for and how you can save some money while buying this software or subscription with offers and discounts. When it comes to installing Windows in Mac computer, we have very limited options and especially when it comes to Apple M series processors M1 or M2 as of now, we have both these Mac computers available at stores and when it comes to M series processors, we have very limited options. In Intel processor based Mac computers, we have Bootcamp and several other options. But for M series processors, not everyone is tech savvy, so they cannot, you know, play with codes and execute several lines of commands to install Windows and to maintain it for updating and for, you know, managing the Windows installation or any other Linux distribution installation on Apple M series processors. That is where this premium application comes into the picture. If you want to quickly get the job done and want to use the stable version of virtualization application in your Mac computer, then Parallels is definitely the only answer as far as I understood all these years. With each year, with each versions, they make some good fine tuning, excellent bug fix and plenty of stability and security related enhancements as well. Parallels Desktop 18 for Mac maintains the same design pattern and easy to use user interface just like their previous versions and installing Windows is super easy and all you need to do is follow the on-screen instructions with the Parallels latest version of the software. You don't have to do any manual work. Download the Parallels only from official website. It is highly recommended. Don't download it from torrents or from any other third party websites by, you know, by doing the Google search. It is important to download it only from parallels.com. I leave a link to the official website in the description down in the first comment as well. When you go for unofficial sources to download these type of softwares, you may end up with viruses or ransomwares. So make sure to install it only from official website. After downloading the Parallels Desktop 18 in your Mac computer, Computer. The setup is just like any other application that you try to install in your Mac computer. When you download it from internet, you simply unpack it. You can either drag and drop or you know follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. Once it's done, the first welcome wizard itself shows whether you want to install the latest version of Windows 11 ARM processor based Windows 11 or not. You can simply select that and proceed with the on-screen instruction to start the download of Windows 11 from its official Microsoft web server. It is 100% safe and apart from Windows 11, you can also choose Google Chrome OS or Android operating system or any other Linux distributions that are visible in the parallel software selection of operating systems. You can of course manually boot ISO file if you have the compatible ARM processor based operating systems of your choice. So once the download is completed, your Windows 11 is ready right now and you can configure the username and passwords everything after logging in inside uh, for the first time. And here you can see the Windows 11 is right now running inside your Mac OS operating system. You can either turn it to full screen or you can run it in the window mode. And the beauty of the parallel software is you haven't done any manual work here. So far, you were using just your mouse and within few minutes, Windows is ready for use. You can drag and drop any applications. You can start downloading your favorite Google Chrome browser using Microsoft Edge browser the way that we all do. And then you can start using required Windows specific applications and some games as well. Not all the high-end games are supported, but Parallels have done some excellent optimization to use the Apple M series processors, both CPU and GPU and manage the swap space and overall the memory management also done excellent with their latest version 18 software. My personal suggestion is for moderate gaming, this is suitable. For high-end gaming, it is still recommended to consider an assembled computer or a PC with dedicated graphics chipsets, you know, to give you more power to run that game. When it comes to Parallels Desktop 18 version, latest MacBook Pro 14 inch and 16 inch computers promotion technology is also supported like 128 refresh rate is also now enabled for your Windows operating system running inside the parallels 
in your Mac computer. Another beautiful thing about parallel software for Mac computer is you don't have to install any drivers, audio drivers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi drivers manually to make it work with Windows. It just works seamlessly to use all your hardwares that are available and of course you have the full permission to enable or disable it from the Parallels Control Center for specific operating system. So without any drivers requirement, once you install the Windows, all the hardwares that are available in the Mac computer is also usable by the Windows. You can install Parallels tools. They also provide two important services uh, along with the Parallels software. One is Parallels tools and another one is Parallels access. In simple terms, Parallels tools gives you better control over the operating systems that you install inside your Windows machine and run in a virtualization environment. And Parallels access gives you a remote access to your Windows machine for example, if you have installed Windows in the parallel setup in your Mac computer, you can use your Android phone, iPhone, iPad to install the Parallels Access application from App Store. And as long as your subscription is active, you can access your Windows running in the Mac computer remotely. So that is another interesting feature and helps in terms of productivity. The latest version of Parallels Desktop 18 is also compatible with the upcoming Mac OS Ventura. That is definitely surprising. It is currently in beta and no Nobody knows when the Ventura update will come, but Parallels is fully compatible and ready to support the macOS Ventura, the upcoming macOS operating system. And we are expecting it by this year end, but your Parallels software will be ready and compatible to run Windows, Linux operating systems or any other compatible operating system inside your Mac computer. And another beautiful feature is you can share files seamlessly between the macOS and the Windows machine just to make it give a feel like it is a one operating system that you are using. So without any problems, the clipboard is seamlessly shared and you can share the files, documents, movies or any other data from a small text to everything between the Windows and the Mac OS that is running in the base of your Mac computer. And when you are using Apple M series processor machines with this latest Parallels Desktop 18 software, they also promise that high resource intensive applications like solid SOLIDWORKS, Autodesk, Visual Studio and several other high intensive resource requiring applications will run seamlessly because the latest parallel software is fully optimized to take advantage of all the CPU cores and GPU cores and to manage the swap space and RAM better in Apple M series processor computer. You may not face any application crash or any reboots of the operating system all of a sudden. Even though I'm sharing all these details based on my experience all these years, almost eight plus years, it is important for you to give it a try and see whether it is suitable for you or not. So take a spin with a trial version. I'll leave a link to the downloads to the official website in the comments and in the description. You can check that out. And the most important thing is pricing and the offers of Parallels Desktop 18 software. They have two different versions available at their store. One is Standard Edition and the another one is Pro Edition. Pro Edition is kind of, you know, a fully loaded, feature-rich application version. So only if you have the requirement using the Parallels Windows Edition for, you know, programming purposes, for gaming and for any other high resource intensive tasks, you may have to consider the Pro Edition, which comes yearly at $69. $9.99 and the standard edition has limitations like the limit to the virtual RAM and then the CPUs that you can use from the Apple M series or Intel based processors and parallel suggests it is not suitable for programmers who want to run Visual Studio Code or any other SolidWorks Autodesk sort of applications in their Mac computer and the standard version also requires a separate subscription for you to get 24 by 7 phone and email support throughout your license validation and the important thing is every year you need to renew the subscription in order to continue using the parallels in your Mac computer. Now we have to talk about the offers. For students, they have 50% discount and it is not available in all the countries as I'm showing it to you on the screen. It is currently limited and available in certain countries where they can verify that you are a student or a staff working in some university that they can verify using some separate surveys. Other than that, the Pro Edition seems to be reasonable and can use you know, better resources, your hardware resources to run Windows without any barriers. And as a conclusion, my suggestion will be Parallels is very well suitable if you don't want to do any manual work, any execution in the terminal and want to maintain the Windows operating system that is running in your Mac computer. If you want a seamless experience, if you don't 
don't want to spend time in maintaining the Windows or Linux distributions installed in your Mac computer, then Parallels is definitely the answer. The $69.99 that you're going to spend every year will definitely be worth it if you have the requirement of Windows or other operating systems to be run in your Mac computer. They take care of the maintenance, they take care of all the updates, bug fixes and security fixes to make sure you are using Windows without any problem in your Mac computer. You can simply focus on your productivity and get the job done. They do announce offers of, you know, from the exact pricing, they do announce some offers to save through the discounts and coupons. I will be updating it in our website. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. So do check that out before making the purchase of Parallels desktop latest version. That could help you to save some extra bucks. Thank you and feel free to share this video with your friends at Twitter and Facebook. Thank you and have a wonderful day.